welcome to today. Today is Friday. It's the beginning of the weekend, the wild, crazy weekend, and I'm excited for this one. It is gorgeous out today, nice and cool. It's, it's actually kind of cold. Last night it poured rain, and I mean poured. And look at all these tomatoes. Who the heck plants as many tomatoes? Like, I can't even control it. I need to get in here and clean it. I need time. I need time, you guys. This is a jungle. Just a jungle. Yeah, they're almost done. They have to get a little thicker. Here's, uh, here's one. You want this one? Yeah. I need to get out here and pick these. Look at, so many of these are finished. They're ready. I don't want them. So people be loving some peas. Mm. Can horses have peas? Hmm? Can horses have these? I think so. Let's give the horses some peas. Yeah, I'm gonna give the other horse to this. All right, there are a lot of peas. Oh Ooh. my gosh, I can't believe I didn't pick them all. This one. Okay, pick it. We have three peas for three horses. Please don't I tell just, me peas are poisonous. I just eat them inside. Mm. Last night, just before we went to the barn to ride the horses, we all got an emergency alert, and the emergency alert, emergency alert said, there's a tornado warning in your area. Everybody stay home and hunker down. So. We did the next best thing. We jumped in the car and we went to the barn. Didn't we do that? But Paige was at the barn too. Why are we being quiet? We thought someone was walking around in the barn. Okay, why you gotta freak me out all the time? Okay, are we giving peace to ponies? All right, well, let's get their food first. All the dogs wanna go in. Why do they wanna go in? Because they still think they're gonna see a cat. They are cat lovers. Today is gonna be my cleaning day. If it's my cleaning day, it means it's your cleaning day too. What do you think of it? Wow, look at my peas. That looks so good. Okay, let's give it to Willow first. All right. I'm gonna have a good little message. Penny's like, give me my food. Should we give her just the inside or the whole I'll thing? I'll give her the whole thing. You ready? The treat from, that we grew. Homegrown treat, Willow. Thank you. Maybe they don't like peas. Oh, maybe they are poisonous. We better look it up before we give it to them. Where's the pea? Are we gonna give one to Marcy? Oh, she won't eat it. Oh, maybe she's gonna eat it. That's weird. Horses don't like peas. Peas are my favorite vegetable. What kind of animal doesn't like peas? Nope. You should smoke it. Don't get your head in there because she's a head knocker. Anyways, so good at morning to you guys. We are ready to go to the eye doctor today. I got different clothes on. I dressed up yesterday with a skirt. Today is just a pants day. Just a just um just a pants day because I can't do it two days in a row. There is no dressing up two days in a row. Sophie, did you dress up today? No. Shorts, <laughs> but she got her. But she's got her hair all beautiful. Your hair is so cute, long. As soon as we get out, I'm put it out. <laughs> she, this is the year that Sophie learned about ponytails. Don't you guys find that by the time kids get to 11 or 12, they learn the ponytail, and then by the time they're 13 to 14, that they learn the hairstyles. Sophie, just be following along in a regular pattern. One day you're gonna want to look, make your hair look gorgeous, and you're gonna do it every day. What is in my way? And then after you do that for a short time, by like. 15 and 16, you're back to like the, the messy bun because it's just too much work keeping up with hair. Hair is. I know. Did you guys know that frogs love when it rains? Why? Because it's water and they love water. Hmm. How do you know that? Um, because my brain thought of it. So this is not real fact? This is just Sophie facts? Yep. All right, interesting. Tell me if it's true. Tell us if it's true. Because when it rains, there's a lot more frogs because they came out of the water. I think you're growing, Sophie. Let's see oh, yeah, you look way shorter. <laughs> Watch. Yeah, made a huge difference. 
Yeah, big difference. So today is gonna be a beautiful day and I wish a beautiful day for all of you guys and the only difference between a beautiful day and a bad day is your mindset. Just get up there and remember that today is a beautiful day and even if bad things happen, remember that they're isolated incidences and that all you have to do is think that it's a good day. Usually for me, I never find out that it's a bad day until the end of the, end of the day and I'm like, wait, all these crazy things happened today. It was a bad day. But it's never truly a bad day because I never feel it in my heart. I just keep going and pushing on even when the bad things happen. Laugh at yourself and laugh at the bad things. All the dogs are begging Sophie to fish for them. We love that lunging whip and I don't mind that we sacrificed one for the dogs because they love it so much. Look at, look at mom. This is why Daisy would win, because she just talks the whole time. Like giving death threats. She shakes her head like a death whip. Molly's winning, Molly's winning, Molly's winning! Daisy has the weight and the strength, but Molly has the perseverance. Come on, Daisy, you can do it. Come on, Daisy. Daisy just holds. Daisy's too gentle. Daisy would never pull somebody. Oh gosh, she stares at me like, are you gone yet? Nope. Good. Three successful things for taking the horses out. They need a fly mask, fly spray, and their halter. And she ate every single bit of her food but the pee. Frozen feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory. All right, we are done. We're finally done with the eye doctor. He actually put eye drops in my eyes. I've never had it before. I always say no. He always asks me, "Can I put eye drops in your eyes?" And I'm always like, "No." Next time, and this time he didn't even ask me. He just did it. Number. So when he did it. I no numbers, there were only letters. What? Uh, Ow. You Shoot. were saying uh, two instead of Z. Me? Z. Yeah. No. And, <laughs> and so he was like, there's no letters, there's only numbers. No, it was all, all letters. letters. I no numbers. It after. So uh, basically, I like, yeah, this. Yeah. it's gross. The drops, I'm frozen all the way down in here. It's like drying, going all the way down my face. So I, I got, I, I feel Ooh. sick to my stomach from it because I feel kind of dizzy. Oh, so anyways. My eyes are weird now. Your eyes are weird? You gotta get the drops. So, Gabby, do you need glasses? No. Sophie, do you I need? I might need them for my left eye when I'm older. Is she more blurrier than the right. Oh, so you were faking it? Is that what you're saying? No, I could see the numbers. He even said, yeah, your left eye's a little bit blurrier than the right. Yeah, he said, like, she's I like this far from is. normal. Do you so, need glasses? No. No. He basically said they almost have 20 20 vision, just like so slightly off that you wouldn't even fix it. You couldn't even fix it. So, girls are good. And I need, I need bifocals. So, my prescription only changed a tiny bit. He said, which I thought they changed a lot, but recently I haven't been able to see close up as well. So that was the change. So now I need like bifocals, you know, that's what happens when you get old. I think we deserve a treat. You deserve a treat. All right, let's go home. And that will be your treat. You want to go home? Oh, actually we have a lot of stuff we have to do. So let's go get stuff done. So my eye doctor is really cute and I really like him. Like I connect with him, okay. not, no, he's cute, but I connect with him and like, I understand him like he talks and I, I can understand what he says I relate to him um I don't know where I was going with that so Sophie interrupted me but anyway we're at the pet store now one of our favorite places to go you have to buy treats if they have treats for Daisy because I lost her other treats and, and you I guys wanna... know Daisy needs her treats and I want to train her oh that's nice yeah you can get this one on Amazon it's nice though our dogs would like it. We should get Molly a bone toy. Yeah, Molly a bone. It's such a sin to have nice, cute toys like that that your dog is just going to destroy. Mm, there's squirrels in it. We're, we have to get this one. Yeah, that would be fun. Ultra limited sweet potato fries. So you guys know Dalmatians have special food issues. And you have to read the ingredients. 
Wow, sweet potato fries only contain one ingredient, sweet potatoes. These are good brand. Oh, there's some kitties in there. Wait, is that cat alive? I don't know, is it alive? It's a hot black cat. Oh, you see it? Can you see where I am? Wait, does it say no touching? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh, they're all black. Super cute. That's cool. That's a cricket calcium gut load block. I ordered 500 crickets and she has to count them by hand. So these are I to to that pet store. Our, our uh, bearded dragon's food. Oh, this is how we got them. So I wrapped Daisy's presents. Why do you have presents for Daisy? Because tomorrow is her birthday. Go check my TikTok to see what they are. This is Daisy's birthday tomorrow, right? Daisy. <laughs> It. You have to wait for tomorrow. Do you think she hears it? No, put it behind your back and squeak it. No, you gotta do it while she's not looking. I feel like she hears it. No. She has to do it while she's not looking. Okay, so she doesn't hear the squeaking. She only knows that the other dogs are trying to get something and she All thinks right. it's food so you guys have to guess what this is no one tell them okay it doesn't squeak Sophie, you seem so much older now like she's good, almost your height turn back to back so her shoulders aren't getting like much higher but her head is getting much higher my neck i don't know stand up straight I don't know. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. All right. Um, I can either choose between a koala bear, a weird thingy, and um, a sloth. Well, let's show them tomorrow. And I took and a unicorn. And you guys have to guess what one I chose. I would choose the sloth. I almost chose that. So well, Sam and I spent the whole day shopping. It's like three o'clock. I'm exhausted. I bought cherries because. They're my favorite fruit. So on Sunday, we were supposed to be at Trillium. You guys know it got canceled. And Fiona's birthday is on Sunday. And we were all gonna be together on her birthday. So I planned to bring like a cake, but instead I got cupcakes. I got these ones. These are for anybody who likes vanilla. And then for the real people, I've got all these chocolate ones. I realized that she does not like nuts. So I picked two that had nuts, but I know that she'll like this. And I know that she'll like this. But anyway, I got cupcakes for her birthday to have at the horse show. And I bought her a little present. I got her this book that's about home preserves. And it's like, it's a bunch of stuff that I love, like zucchini relish. I want that. And salsa. I want to do something. I know it smells so good. It smells so good. So then I bought a bunch of stuff to make sandwiches, to take with us. Um, a food for the dragon. All day shopping. We had to get cricket food, or we had to get crickets. We had to uh, go to the dollar store. Like, it's just crazy. Life is crazy. All right, so um, I asked mom to get something because I craved it. So what I've been craving is the peanut butter and pretzels. Peanut butter and pretzels. Have you ever tried that? That is not my thing. You like it? I bought some mint for the chickens. Hello babies. Did you guys know that mint lowers chicken's temperature? So in the summer when it's like super hot out, you can give it to them and it'll help cool them down or keep them cool. Hello. Right, let's check for eggs. Only one again? Somebody is eating our eggs and usually we get two a day. All right, little girls, you're gonna have to be held because I want you to be friendly. I want to keep you forever and I want you to be friendly. I just wanna warn you, if you ever buy mint for your chickens, don't buy it, don't do it. It's disgusting, it smells so bad, you guys. So disgusting. I don't think the chickens like mint, you guys. They keep picking it up and then dropping it. They don't like it. They really wanna go in with the big chickens. Oh, she's eating a little. I think that white one is the lead hen. She's the boss of the group. Oh, you like it? Nice, you'd be nice. We're a nice family, we don't hurt people. 
We are in the thick of it. We are in the thick of it. We are cleaning our boy. I was gonna bring little carrots for you, Finn, and I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We also need to clean out his nose. So when you're done, do you have a sponge there? No. You should put him on the grass and wash him. I hate that he has to stand on the rocks. I love you. Yeah. He doesn't want to Well, let him eat the grass while you wash him. If you were my horse, Finn, I would let you eat the grass. Yeah. Oh, he's such a love, you guys. All yeah. Right, Look at how nice you I are. Like he understands that I love him and I show him affection. I don't hey, do anything I bad. Him. I know, but I mean, he does love me too, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Look how good you are. Just cleaning your tail. And you're so good. Yeah. You're going to a show. You know that's what this means, right? You know? You know this, right? Look at how dirty that nose is. I'm gonna clean that. I'm gonna go get a um, something to clean your nose. Okay? All right, Finn, he's clean. <laughs> Finn, I'm so sorry that you have to have a bath every week. It sucks. I know. It's funny, he's got black skin underneath the light. Yeah, that's why I wanna shave him, because he might be gray. Yeah, he look, he's dark underneath. Gabby is out riding Chino because um, we're building his endurance for Trillium. The arena at Trillium is like so much bigger than what he's used to. So she's building his endurance and she's riding him a bunch of flat less. Uh, she's riding him a lot of walk trot and with some canter. Yeah, with a little bit of canter to build him up. So you gotta dry him, so. Yeah, that's why I'm like brushing his mane and tail. Hello, Stormy Boy. This might not end very well. So. No, they've been they've been kissing and talking this whole time. I'm gonna yeah, go in there. Yeah, but if Storm pings his ears and tries to bite him, then no, it's gonna end very it, badly. He doesn't do that. But see how like when he gets wet, you can see the dark skin underneath. Same as when he sweats. Stormy night. I love him with long hair, you guys. First time he's ever had long hair. That's not even gonna help him. Uh, a slinky is not going to help him because we didn't bring the long one. So, uh, some people are asking how come Stormy hasn't gone anywhere lately and she didn't take him when she goes someplace, maybe on a trail ride, maybe in the fall. But right now, Storm doesn't want to show. He, they fought the most they ever fought. Watch how fast he rejects a man. That shows. <laughs> He's like, I want the brush. So, he does, the showing is not his thing. Kids are his thing. Love is his thing. That's all he oh. likes. Nothing cuter than a white tail. He's, I know, he's got black hairs in it. You guys see how he has like some black hairs? It kind of makes it look dirty a little. So pretty. You are so pretty. I feel like Sophie's coming into her own. Gabby was 11 when she started to really come into riding. And then she was 13 when she really seemed to take it over. And Sophie's 11. And I swear, she's coming into her riding. you like the purple one? Yeah. Bring it home and I'll wash it because I'm going to wash your saddle pad too. So for jumpers, we don't have to braid. A faded piece of history. No one can remember all the fun. The late night barbecue. Zipping on a genie juice Cruising down the road No thought getting old The girls are hot but the beer is cold Yeah, that's the way we roll 